Hi there, thank you for joining me. It's time to work on an easy and fun and quick PowerPoint project. So I suggest uh, if you're working on a Chromebook to start at the Rapid Identity screen and find the Office 365 icon. Click on that icon and it takes you to your Office 365 area with all of your tiles. A couple ways to do this. You could do it straight from the PowerPoint tile here. You could also do it from OneDrive if you have a specific folder that you'd like to save it into. So I'm going to click to OneDrive because I have a folder called PowerPoint Projects. To make folders on your OneDrive, you just click on the new button at the top and choose folder. Okay, but if you already have one for PowerPoint folders, just go straight to your PowerPoint Projects folder. And from here, we can create a new PowerPoint. For this PowerPoint project, you're going to be uh, designing your own phone case. So we're going to use uh, PowerPoint Online, and I like to see the full ribbon. So remember, the ribbon is the tools at the top here. If your simplified ribbon setting is on, it won't show you the traditional ribbon-looking tools. So I'll show you. I'm changing mine to simplified ribbon. And you can see it's it's very simplified. It looks more like uh, Google Slides. Okay. So you use whatever setting you prefer. I'm gonna turn off the simplified ribbon. And we're gonna start by changing the layout of this slide. So this slide is laid out right now as the tile slide. Okay. PowerPoint always gives you a tile slide first. So let's go to the Home tab and find the layout button and change it to blank. So now we have a blank slide. All right, now we're gonna add some shapes. There's a couple places you can add shapes. Here on the Home tab, we have a shapes option and you probably guessed it, it's also on the Insert tab. So find, go to shapes and find a rounded rectangle. It's in the top under commonly used shapes and also under rectangles. And would you choose dimensions that are similar to a phone that maybe someone in your family has, or if you are lucky enough to have a phone, maybe the size of your phone? And then you're going to insert another shape, another rounded rectangle to serve as the camera. So on my particular phone, my camera is in the upper corner. Now, the default color of these rectangles is blue. I'm going to change the color of the camera rectangle, the small one, to white. That represents the camera's opening. Okay. Mine's a little more like that. Right now it's time to design your case. When you have these shapes, you notice a new tab shows up, the format tab, and you've got some options. And I suggest starting with the fill of your large rectangle. So you can choose from any color you like. We've got options down here. Uh, so start with a color. And then after you have your fill color, I would like you to change the outline color as well. You can make it the same color, you can make it a different color, or no color. But the default, if you look closely, the default color is a blue. Right, and you'll notice our colors look a little different here uh, on PowerPoint Online, and, and that's a okay. thing. It just has to run a little bit differently because PowerPoint Online is run through a browser. And by browser, I mean, in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. So it can't have all the functions that the software uses. When we use a software in our classroom, it's the full program, and it's actually downloaded on the classroom computers. And so it can have all of the features. But when we're using it on a Chromebook or online, it cannot download the software. It's just using it from from the browser. So I, I hope that makes a little bit of sense, but we don't have all the tools that we're used to, but we do have quite a few. Um, also, on your shape outline, you're welcome to make your uh, outline thicker or change it to some dashes or dots, okay? so, however you like. We've got our rectangles, we've changed the fill and the outline. Now it's time to personalize it some more. So please go to the Insert tab. You could add some more shapes if you'd like. Uh, maybe I want to add a, a stripe across the back. 
If you add shapes, just do the same thing. Change the, the, the outline and the fill color. Okay. Or perhaps you want to add uh, some pictures. So from the picture options here, you can choose a picture from your Chromebook or your computer. You can choose a picture that you have saved in OneDrive or Bing pictures. So Bing pictures are just online pictures. So I'm going to go to the online picture. typo there. And I'm going to choose the University of Washington W. A couple of tips. If your picture comes in with a background, okay, there is not a tool to remove the background. And on the PowerPoint in our classroom, we can remove the background. We cannot on uh, using online PowerPoint. So if you find one that has a background, try search. So if you go to pictures, Bing pictures, if you add the word transparent, you'll increase the chances of getting a picture without a background. Now, PowerPoint online, when it adds a, uh, loads a picture, it also loads this source text box. We don't want that source box um, for this project. So to get rid of it, I click off of the picture and because when the fixed picture first loads, you'll notice it is grouped. So there's a little around the picture and the source box. So let's click off of it to ungroup them. And now we're going to click on the text box and I'm going to put my cursor on the line around the text box. That makes it a nice solid line and I can press the delete key and that gets rid of the source box. All right. You can adjust your picture, you can rotate it, uh, you can go to the format tab, you can add a frame to it if you like, you can add a border, um, crop it a little bit, rotate it, so get your picture exactly the way that you like it. And then keep designing. Uh, you can add additional pictures, you can add additional shapes, you can also add icons. Icons are little pictures, they're like little symbols and pictures. Uh, kind of like clip art, so there's tons of items in here. So go ahead and your icons and see if there's something that you kind of like. Ooh, I'm going to call this palm tree here. And with like we have with shapes, there is a format tab for icons and you can change the color of those icons. I like icons. Pretty easy. So please spend a few minutes to design your phone case. Feel free to pause this video and come back to it because the next step is what to do when you are done. All right, now you're done. I would like you to take a screen shot or a screen clipping uh, of this page. In our classroom, we would use the snipping tool for this, but on your Chromebooks, we're going to use a shortcut on your keyboard. You're going to press the control key and the screen switching key. It's a key on your keyboard towards the top. And it has a box with a couple lines on the right side. If you press the control key and the screen switching key at the same time your whole page gets kind of gray and that allows you to take a, a screen clipping or if you hold the shift key while you're pressing control and screen switch um, you can take a parcel partial screen clip and just do part of the page uh, a picture of this key is in the direction file if my description did not work very well um, but what that does is it saves a, a picture in your files so now you can go to Google Classroom. Um, but I hope you had fun designing a phone case and I can't wait to see them. Talk to you soon. Take care.